of viewers, this is Cynthia Michael from Screen Review bringing you a new podcast for my for my segment called The Bartel Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I'll try to do my best not to be so hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to call us any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to our adult link. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will attain to our adult link if you're under 18. If you're over 18... Well, if you're over 18, that means you're good to watch this on your podcast recording. So anyway, let's get into the latest episode of Volta. Uh, this is episode 500. Uh, this episode 500. So basically, this episode pretty much starts to... This episode is pretty much... It's, uh, it's pretty much just one of those bit of clip shows and whatnot. So basically, it starts off with, it starts off with Nishi at Rochi Marvel's lab. So basically, so basically, Mickey was telling Rose Mao that, you know, he's been having, he's been having, he's been, he's been having problems for his dreams lately. So basically, like, Rose Mao was like, you know, so basically, it looked like Mickey was having some, you know, problems sleeping and whatnot. So basically, like, you know, so Rose Mao was decided to check Mickey out. So basically, a Rose Mao, and so basically, so basically, Rokimo hooked Miki up to, uh, hook Miki up to the scene that, that allowed him to act. So, so basically, Rokimo hooked Miki up to this, hook her up to this, this special scene that allowed him to act as, to act, that allowed him to act as Miki's memory. So basically, it turns out, turns out the whole abyss during the whole stone, uh, artificial human saga was, was kind of the reason why Miki was not sleeping. So basically, Gore, who is the, uh, who is a uh, older version of, uh, of, uh, uh, who is the older version of Miski? Who is the older version of Cone of Miski? Gore, and I believe that's how he says his name, because that's how his name is spelled, so basically it's spelled Gore. So basically, the old, being the older clone, the older adult clone version of Miski was watching along with Rosimaru about the whole, what went down in the stone, but it's with the whole artificial stuff. With the whole artificial uh, humans and whatnot. So basically, so basically, basically, you know, go and go and go and watch him always with just looking at Mishi's memories about what we're down to, what we're down in the stone, but it's with the whole fake, with the whole artificial, with the whole artificial uh, uh, humans and whatnot. So anyway, so basically, you know, so basically, you know, Rosie Marvel was, Rosie Marvel was doing some commentary, uh, well, you know, was commentary uh, well, while him and girl was watching Mishi's memory, memories on, on the machine. So basically, Rosie Marvel was saying that, you know, yeah, his when he went through that whole when he went through and stone bed, it, it's it's kind of, it's kind of putting him on the under a, a bit of stress. So basically, like you know, so basically, once your mother was kind of worried that that about the whole situation, his memories about his memories about the whole situation, the stone bed, it's kind of it's putting him under a. Bit of, a, a bit of stress. So basically, like you know, Oshi Marvel was kind of worried that you know that you know if this keeps up, he might have to erase his memories about the whole incident in the stone buildings, or maybe, or maybe, the, uh, or maybe his uh, maybe his uh, home memory up to the stone buildings. So basically, Goro was like, you know, like you can't do that. Damn, you know, you can't do that. You know, where he went. So in the stone village, you know, we, uh, you know, it really had a good impact on his, on his character, uh, on, on his, on his development. So basically, uh, Wolfie Mauro, after, after Wolfie Mauro and Gore, you know, finished watching Mishi's memories about the whole 
stone, stone meditation that, you know, what's him all over this walked out, walked out of the room and like, and go and thought, you know, are you going, are you going to erase Missy's memories, memories, and most of all, it just walked out without, without saying anything to go. So basically, you know, go ask him what's model, and you know, are you going to still erase Missy's memories, and what's model did not say anything to go when he, when he walked out the room. So anyway, when, when Missy woke up, uh, most of them had a cup of tea. So basically, like, you know, so basically, you know, you know, you know, like you, like you know, I, I figured out the problem. Well, I figured out, well, well, you, you know, I figured out the problem. So basically, if you if you choose to drink this tea, it can help you with your problem, but you might lose your you might lose your memory. So basically, but the choice is yours. So basically, Wolfie Mall gave me a choice. Like you know, I know what's wrong with you, but you know, or you know. You know, I know what's wrong with you, but you know, you could even, you know, you know, you could even, you know, but it's not a big thing, but you know, if you want to, like, you know, if you want me to fix it, all you got to do is to drink this tea. And, but, you know, but if you do drink this tea, you know, you might lose your memory about. So basically, this key is just stare at a little small and gore. It's there at the tea and and all this and wish he reached reach out to reach out to uh, wish his hand out and all of a sudden we see Miski back in his apartment with his cat and with his cat you know uh, uh, to sleep in his bed with his cat and whatnot and and Borto was banging on the door telling Miski to hold with you know with hope, with telling Borto to hold up, so basically Borto was bringing on Missy's door, telling Missy to, you know, to, to hold up that we got to, we got to listen to you. So anyway, Missy, Missy was like, you know, like, oh, so was telling Borto, okay, uh, let me go, let me go get my headband, uh, let me get my headband, I'll, I'll be out in, in a minute. So anyway, it turns out, Turns out the tea didn't. Turns out the tea was just uh, the tea didn't have didn't have anything special. So it turns out Roshi Mario said that you know you know tea was not a special elixir that that was made to erase. Turns out the tea was uh, was not designed. To erase to, to erase Mickey memory. So basically, he say that it was it was never treating nothing wrong with Mickey. You know, he he yeah, he did have stress about the whole situation and the stone, but it's but it's, it's normal. So basically, you know, Oshima was saying that you know Mickey confirmed that Mickey did not drink the tea and whatnot. The tea was just was another made for to erase Mickey. His memory. So basically, he, so basically, once in a while, was telling God that the tea didn't, uh, uh, was not was not made for raising Mickey's memory. So basically, it's like you know, it was like a placebo, and Mickey according to once in a while that Mickey did not drink the tea. He just woke up, woke up, and back to his normal self and whatnot. So basically. So basically, what your mom was saying that you know, you know, Missy, uh, Missy, yes, he had stress about the whole events and what happened in the film, but it's like you know, it was just normal for him, uh, for Missy to go through a bit of a, a bit of stress. So basically, what your mom didn't didn't need to erase Missy's memory. So basically, Girl was happy to hear that, hear that. And so basically. This is how the episode ended where Roshi Mara was saying that, you know, you know, that don't, don't worry, Michi is going to be fine. So, basically, this is how the episode ended. So, basically, this episode was pretty much a, in a way, like a clip show about the whole events that break down in the Stone Village in the past. So basically, it's just, this episode was kind of like a filler episode and also a slash 
clip episode. So basically, it's just an episode, you know, this is just a, a good episode for, for Roshi Maru and Gore to be a big, you know, to, to be a good, a good father and a good older clone brother. So basically, this episode, all, all this episode was is just a good episode showing how, how, how good a parent that Roshi Maru is and how good, how good Good, uh, how good an uh, older brother that uh, that girl was, even though he's a, you know, you know, he's an older girl on Mickey, but you know, it was just, that's what this episode was. This was a good. So this was a good character development episode for Miski and also for Rosemaru and Gore. So basically, that's what this episode was. So anyway, but you know, it was a good, it, it was a good, this was a good filler slash uh, clip, uh, you know, recap episode. So basically, this episode, that's what the, this whole episode was. So basically, Rosemaru being a, a good father towards Miski, helping them out. And and go being a big brother towards Mishi and whatnot, helping Mishi out. So basically, that's what uh, uh, what this episode was. So anyway, it was a good episode. What, so anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it was it good? Was it okay? Or is it just, you know, nah? Please let me know the comments below this podcast. So anyway, mm-hmm. the Cincinnati Michael from Screen Review signing off. One.